2019, for better or worse, may be defined by many things. Unfortunately, anti-Semitism is one of them. Throughout the year, we have reported on incidents of hate crimes against Jews around the world. We have seen senior public figures pandering to anti-Semitism just to secure a greater margin of votes. We have seen world leaders refer to their country's own Jewish communities as de facto Israelis. And last night, in fact, we witnessed the stabbing of, a f in fact, five people at a rabbi's home in the state of New York in 2019. Just how deep-rooted was the world's anti-Semitism footprint? Find out in this report. For a long time, public figures appearing to express disdain or outright hate for the Jewish community were, they were considered politically incorrect. But that started changing again in 2000s. And now as we wrap up 2019, what was one ex in fact expressed in inner circles has become yet another political talking point used actively in the age of information and media saturation. Take the case of Labour parties and, in fact, Jeremy Corbyn in the UK, as many as 12 Labour members, formerly lawmakers, have, have said that the single biggest reason behind Labour's downfall is the recently held polls was anti-Semitism. Even more troubling was the lack of concern or corrective action by its outgoing leader in the same regard. The states of New York and New Jersey also saw some of the most vile and hateful attacks against Jews in the year 2019. Take the shooting spree at a kosher market in Jersey, which ultimately left six people dead. Now, it does not help when the elected represent representatives, in fact, of the U.S., which house, in fact, uh, six million Jews, referred to his own Jewish countrymen as Israelis. Trump, in a speech delivered in Las Vegas to the Republican Jewish Coalition at that, had referred to Israeli leader Benjamin Netanyahu as your prime minister. If history is anything to go by, anti-Semitism is another form of bigotry that can easily be weaponized from rhetoric to violence. The Israeli ambassador, in fact, to India, Ron Malka, told Vion's executive editor, Palkishan Upadhyay, just that. Listen in. Jewish institutions and facilities all over the world are from time to time threatened by terrorist organizations that are there spread all over. So from time to time we have some concrete threats or immediate threats that we need to take care and measure. But it's always there. 2017, more than 100 anti-Semitic incidents per month were recorded in the UK. In 2018, a reported 1,646 hate crimes against Jews were committed in Germany. The latter was an increase of 10% from one year earlier. Anti-Semitic acts in France rose by 74% in 2018. Hostile actions or discrimination against Jews goes back many centuries, from the times of the Bible to the modern world, and now at the palm of our fingertips, social media, just like how, in fact, uh, the Germany of today leaves no stone unturned to try not to romanticize or whitewash its history. It's for us as individuals to decide whether generations upon generations of entire people should be branded or in fact, left out for some perceived wrongs, most likely which are actually kind of a fiction committed by their forefathers.